Most of my welding is on aluminum. What's the best process for me? The limitations of welding machines in the past, welding aluminum used to be more difficult. But with today's advanced MIG and TIG welding systems, it's easier than ever to achieve high quality results. Whether your shop uses aluminum exclusively or on a project by project basis, we have MIG and TIG solutions for every application. For TIG welding, inverter based machines such as the Dynasty 200, and for MIG welding, the Spoolmate 100 is compatible with many of Miller MIG welders, including the Multimatic 200. Which type of machine is right for you depends on your application. When you need to weld thinner pieces of material together, anything about an eighth of an inch or less, more often than not, TIG welding is going to be your best choice. With TIG, you can control the puddle on the fly during the welding process. If the puddle starts to get bigger, just back off on the foot control. TIG may also be your best choice if the weld is going to be in a visible location and you need it to be very clean and aesthetically pleasing. Examples of applications where TIG may be your best option include radiators and tanks. These applications have relatively thin materials and you'd want nice clean looking welds. TIG does require a little bit more skill on the part of the operator. You're using both hands, one for the TIG torch and one for the filler material. You also need to be able to regulate the arc with either your remote foot control or a hand control. So if you're not totally comfortable with the skills required for TIG welding, it might not be the best choice for you. On the other hand, MIG welding doesn't require as much finesse from the operator. Basically, if you can track the joint at a given speed while watching the puddle and you can pull the trigger on the gun, you can operate that piece of equipment. If all you want to do is hold two pieces of material together and you're not as concerned about the look, MIG can be your best choice. Now let's talk about filler metal. When it comes to choosing the right type of filler material, once again, your choice depends on the application. 4000 series aluminum is a silicon alloy, so it's more pliable and it wets out better than the 5000 series. This makes it easier for the operator to get a more fluid puddle. It also tends to give a grainy appearance. Keep in mind that if parts are going to be anodized, which is common in the racing world, the silicon content will turn the weld black. For those applications, you should use a 5000 series wire. The welds won't turn black when anodized, and they're going to be stronger, smoother, and cleaner looking. For whichever type you choose, the quality of aluminum filler metal is a major factor in the success of your welds. Poor quality aluminum filler metals create serious problems, including bird nesting mm -hmm. and weld defects. Your best solution for aluminum welding is going to combine the most appropriate Miller welding equipment with the high quality characteristics of Maxell aluminum filler metal. If you're looking for more strength out of your aluminum welds, Maxell offers the 4943 filler. Features include up to a 40% gains in the fillet weld strength, the ability to be heat treated, and it's ideal for A356 castings. When it comes to welding aluminum, what you really need is what we've got. For easy to use equipment to increase productivity and peace of mind, we're your choice. And Miller is your answer.